Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new Tuesday Blu-ray movie hunt. Yes, it is Tuesday. What can I say? I didn't do a hunt on Monday. I popped up to Lulu and Claire's, drop off some presents, had some spaghetti and the meatballs, which were lovely, and some chocolate ice cream. Oh, it was very nice. Yes, uh, that was yesterday. Uh, just milling about the place um i'm actually glad i didn't go blu-ray hunting yesterday it was absolutely horrendous out there with the traffic i can only imagine what maidstone town center would have looked like but uh, i'm glad i held off because this it's not a big release week this week Look, it all fits on a small bit of paper <laughs> <laughs> uh, what have we got today? We got, uh, well, what did, was released yesterday. Uh, Wrong Turn, which um, I do have an order for that from Amazon. Although they're saying that they're not going to deliver it until Saturday, even though I have Prime. Yeah, I don't know what's the matter with that. Got a couple of 88 films. Snake in the Eagle, Shadow and Legionnaire. That's a Jean-Claude Van Damme one, which I believe is numbered. Uh, a Ghost Waits from Arrow and Uncle Peckerhead from <laughs> Uncle Peckerhead. What the bloody hell? Yeah, from 101 Films. That's it. That's literally mainly it for this week. I think this weekend, next week, is going to be quite quiet before the hordes hit us like speed and all the other kind of stuff. Yes, and um, what's the big... Oh, Indiana Jones... Well, that's June, isn't it? There is another big one coming out. Oh, I say. Last Action Hero. That's the one. Yes, right. What are we doing today? Well, first of all, uh, we're going to pop over to Canterbury. I've got a parcel to ship off. Uh, and then we're going to go and have a look at all the usual stuff, you know, HMV and Poundland and CEX. I'm going to see if I can find a few more charity shops in Canterbury because I've only really been in the British Heart Foundation. I'm sure there's more charity shops over there. If there's time, I'm not saying it's a definite, but if there's time, I might take a quick trip down to Westwood Cross to Smith's Toys because we haven't been in an, a big toy shop since last year sometime. But anyway, let's get on the road. Uh, it's really windy, really, really windy. It's like 50 mile an hour winds. There's bloody bin containers flying past my eyes and all that kind of shit. Um, I have brought my fluffy exterior microphone today for the phone. Uh, so if there's any really distorted audio, I apologise up front. It's just, it's so windy. You probably wouldn't hear me. Why do they call those fluffy microphone covers dead cats? That's not very nice. That's a horrible term for a microphone. I just call it fluffy mic cover. Yeah, I don't know who Mike is, but he's fluffy. <laughs> okay, let's get on the road. Let's get over to Canterbury and start today's Blu-ray festivities. Oh yes, people are back to work. Kids are back to school. Shouldn't be too busy. Baby. I hope. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the releases out on Monday the 3rd of May 2021. The main release this week is Wrong Turn from Signature Entertainment. Plus we have a couple of titles from 88 films, including Legionnaire with Jean-Claude Van Damme. We also have A Ghost Waits from Arrow Films. And from 101 Films, we have Uncle Peckerhead. Okay, so we're over here now at Canterbury. First thing I'm going to go and do, get rid of this in the post office. And then we'll go to, I think we'll do Poundland as it's like right next to the post office. Look, you can see there's not a lot of traffic in here, not a lot of cars. So that's pretty good. It is quite early. It's still only 10 o'clock. So yeah, let's go to the post office and then bugger off to Poundland. Okay, that's the parcel sent, so let's go to Poundland and have a look, see what they've got. Okay, into jolly old Pound... Oh, get out of the way. Into jolly old Poundland we go. What can I see? Three shelves full of Blu-rays. Uh, is there anything worth picking up? Probably not. We have some in-betweeners. Uh, why him? Why is it in here? It's always in here. We have uh, District 9 there and Rush. That Rush has got a blue case. It usually comes with a red case cheeky sods what else have we got we've got some whispered chocolate there oh yes please oh alien versus predator okay that's one of the uh 
unusual ones that I've not usually seen in a place like this. We have some Ninja Turtles there for Jamie. It's the remake, not his favourite one. Uh, what else have we got here? There's a lot of light reflecting on these, so uh, yeah, I can't see the titles. Im imitation Game. Um, what else have we got? I think we have a dragon as well. Yes, How to Train Your Dragon 2. And uh, Deliver Us from Evil. Bit of Cloverfield and some Ted. Bad Moms there with a slip. And down here on the third shelf, got a bit of Hunter's War, whatever it's called. Non-stop uh, Vengeance. I'm not sure what that is. A bit of Born, Pitch Perfect 2. Uh, Noah which is a Russell Crowe film with Emma Watson. Not a bad film. We have Kid Hood, Two pounds. It's a slim case, that one. Uh, some Divergent and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we do have quite a few boxes. I'll have a look through them. I think maybe there'll only be one or two Blu-rays. Okay, nothing special in that lot. Same old shit. Okay, let's go to British Art Foundation right across the road and then slip into CEX. Okay, so let's go across the road to CEX and the British Heart Foundation. Okay, so we're in the British Heart Foundation. They do have some Blu-rays. Got some Spider-Man, some Kong there. Uh, got a bit of uh, Kingdom of Heaven. Out of Sight with George Clooney. Uh, some Exodus, plus also Pan's Labyrinth, really good film. Uh, some Fast and the Furious, yeah, not a lot. In the window, we do have a few bits and pieces. I think there's a Million of Life still book at the back there, Star Wars, plus also this Peter Davison Doctor Who limited edition. 120 quid, that was. Wow. Uh, we're in CEX now. We have 24 Live Another Day. This is the limited series for £8. And just having a look through some of this stuff. With some Avengers there. The Andromeda Strain. <laughs> uh, we have some Elite Battle Angel with the 4K. Uh, some more Avengers. Down here we've got... Bor is it Borgen or Borgen? I don't know. It's a trilogy, whatever it is. That's not bad. Uh, we have Blacklist. Complete fourth season for £4. Good price. Uh, Batman Soul of the Dragon for £6. Really good looking slip. A couple of Children of the Corns and Class. I can't remember what this is. Is this a Doctor Who spin off? I'm not sure. Uh, we also have The Endless for £12 as well. Also, a bit of Doolittle with Robert Downey Jr. for a tenner. Uh, the Escapee. Is that Escapees? The Escapees, yeah. Not sure what that is. £12. Quid. And we have Goodfellas, £12 for 4K, pretty good. And Generation Kill, this is a really underrated series, really good series. Set out in Iraq for Fiverr. Uh, we have Soul for £12 on Blu-ray, plus the Cornetto Trilogy for £25, and Superman the 4K for £15. A bit pricey on those, yeah, a bit pricey. We have the Saw Complete Collection for £38. Not really into that many of the Saw films. Uh, we have this th the Third Man Limited Edition box set down here. This looks pretty good. 30 quid, quite hefty. And Phantasm as well for £6. And down here we have Penny Dreadful uh, 3 Seasons. I think that might be the complete series. Uh, we have J. Edgar for a £1.50. This is a Clint Eastwood film. And Jurassic Park on 4K, £8. That's Jurassic Park 3, plus The Life of David Gale. If you're ever in Canterbury and you want some fish and chips, the fish and chip shop right opposite HMV. Best fish and chips. There we go. Oh, I can smell it. Morning, Uncle Albert. Okay, so next stop, very windy out there, HMV. Let's go in, have a look, see what they've got this week. Okay, so first section, horror section. I can see it, Ernie, I can see it. Yes, Stephen King's Firestarter. $14.99? I don't think so. Yeah, $5.99. Uh, this is a big release this week. Snake in the Shadows. In the what? Eagle Shadow. This is Jackie Chan, so that's one of the new ones. Uh, we have a selection of 3D titles up here for you to drool over if you've got a projector or a 3D telly 
Not as big a section as it used to be, but we still got some stuff. And a little look around here as we bypass the premiums, uh, the superheroes, and go on to the 4K section. Okie dokie, here we are. And first one I'm seeing is Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. Very nice. Down here we have Rob's favourite film of all time. Look, Rob, it's a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. And we also have a Jean Claude Van Damme in Legionnaire. Yes, these are numbered, these are. Uh, at 3,000. Not sure I'm going to pick that up. Okay, so I know someone that's going to be very happy. Firestarter. 5.99. Yes, Ernie, it's going to be coming your way very soon. You are so lucky, son. It's the last one. Okay, so that's the main shops done. I big picked up a couple of bits and pieces. Picked up three titles in CEX and one in HMV. One in HMV. Not for me, though. It's for somebody else. Let me show you something. I just got back to the car. I was just going to dump that load off before we go in search of some charity shops. It's a good job I ain't left-hand drive because there is no way in hell I'd ever get in that door. How the fuck would I squeeze in there? No, I wouldn't. So it don't matter where you park in a car park, there's always some knob jockey parking right next to you. That's why I always park, I always try to park, with the right hand side on the edge. That way I can get the door open, because I don't want to be squeezing in like a fucking slag or some shit like that. But anyway, we <laughs> yes, that's my little motor car rant done. But anyway, yes, I've dumped that in the car. Let's go and have a look, see if we can find some charity shops. And uh, probably down the back street or something. So it's a bit seedy, doesn't it? Anyway, let's go and have a look. Oh yeah, and one other thing. I was halfway round HMV store. And then I suddenly realised I hadn't got the fucking mask on. I see, in the, in the old days, you just walk into a shop, start shopping. I just wasn't thinking. I was thinking, I need to look for this, I need to look for that. Just walked into the store, forgot to put my mask on. Thankfully, I managed to put that on halfway through and there wasn't anybody in there, but easily done. All right, it may not be Linda, but it will do. I come on over all of this way and you can't even be bothered to say that you're going down. You lazy old cow. Okay, so behind me, what about? is cancer research so let's go in and have a look i think this this bloke thought i was crossing the road <laughs> paul don't stand on the edge of the curb people think you're crossing the road well they didn't have anything in there a few dvds no blu-rays but there was some bloke looking through it but it was all just regular stuff they're about as useless as a grown man tripping over do you know the line okay let's go and have a quick look in the pilgrim's hospice see if there's anything over there well, I can't say there's much in here actually. There's a few, a few Blu-rays, uh, Olympus has fallen, a few bits up here, but nothing worth picking up. We've got the uh, Possession and we've got some Ted, uh, some DVDs down here, just all standard stuff. And some someone's mixed tapes. What the bloody hell is that? I don't think I want to buy a mixed tape. Piss off. Uh, this really nice shop that I was just walking past has got some really nice Harry Potter stuff. Look at that castle, that is gorgeous. And we've got some uh, tr uh, Hogwarts Express as well there. Fantastic looking stuff. There's lots of all sorts of little uh, trinkets in here and chest sets. And down here, look, we have a full size, looks like a Nimbus 2000. Oh my lord, that is awesome. Okay, so out of Canterbury Town Centre, or City Centre rather, because it's got a cathedral. Uh, yeah, not much going on with the charity shops. A couple of those charity shops I went in, was it Demenza, Demelza, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just had clothes, didn't even have any DVDs. Uh, yeah, not really. I don't think Canterbury's designed for charity shops, because if you go to Canterbury, you're expected to have a wad full of money to spend in designer shops. So I don't think they have many <laughs> charity shops in, <laughs> in Canterbury. Anyway, we're done here. Uh, Going to go and get some diesel for the car. That's right, some VIN. 
and then we've got enough time to actually quickly pop to Westwood Cross just for Smith's, nothing else, unfortunately. But yes, let's go down and have a look in Smith's Toys. Uh, it's May the 4th today, Star Wars, so there might be a few bits of Star Wars stuff in there. I doubt it because they're pretty crap when it comes to Star Wars, but we'll have a look anyway. Okie dokie, see you down Westwood Cross very soon. Okay, so we are down here at Smith's, so let's go in and have a look at, see what toys, what the fuck's that? It's a dog, <laughs> I wonder what that was. Yeah, anyway, let's go in and have a look, see what uh, Star Wars stuff and general shit they've got. Okay, just as I walked through the door, I spotted these Empire Strikes Back uh, 40th anniversary figures. All reduced, because they used to be about 29 quid, I think. Uh, so they've all been reduced to like 14 99 and 19 99 We've got some Chewy there. They're not in the brilliant as of conditions. You can see some of the corners are bent. Uh, we have the Hoth Trooper there. Uh, these are the extra large ones, so they're bigger than the, the, the standard uh, Kenner ones. But yeah, there's some really nice figures. If they were maybe half that, maybe seven quid, I probably would have picked up a couple. But uh, as I say, they're not in the best of conditions. We've got Luke there with uh, Yoda on his back. But let's have a look down the aisle here. We've got lots of lovely toys. First thing I'm seeing is an alien uh, xenomorph attack. Get away from her, you bitch! Oh yes, even though you're green. And that alien's purple. What the hell? <laughs> Down here we have Godzilla. This is a really big Godzilla. You can yank his, uh, yank his head. Uh, we have some Jurassic Park dinos up here. And we have a really nice Monsters Inc. pack as well. Here's the Star Wars stuff. We have little baby Grogu himself. Well, lots of Grogu's here. Baby Yoda, whatever you want to call him, the child. Uh, we have a few Star Wars packs here and some masks. And we also have some other retro figures as well. Really nice ones as well. So this is an Empire one. This is a uh, Leia. Uh, we also have uh, Grief Karga. Or is it Cargo? I can't remember. It's Grief Karga, isn't it? From The Mandalorian. This is one of the retro figures. Apollo Creed himself. Uh, we also have Darth Vader as well. Uh, this is from Rogue One. So about to slice all those soldiers in half. The Phantom Menace, we have uh, an Amidala in a black outfit. That's a really nice looking one. I think these are all about £10 each. Maybe a little bit more. Plus we also have uh, Anakin there. A um, bit more Leia. Uh, there we go, yeah. Anakin Skywalker from Episode 2. Oh, he's got no... you got no arms, Lieutenant Dan! <laughs> I don't know where his arms are. Uh, what else have we got? Yeah, so we've got another one, another grief, a couple of them. Uh, down here, what we got? We've got another Mandalorian one. This is like an Imperial Death, Death Trooper. This is kind of a holographic look to it. There's another one down there. Uh, we have a TIE Fighter Pilot pretty good from Return of the Jedi and a battle droid from the Phantom Menace I wish they'd actually come out with these originally when the when the prequels came out with this packaging not the shit packaging that we got back in the day uh, but we do have some black series figures up here for 20 pounds we've got a hand solo uh, with a really good mold look at the mold on the face that really is Han Solo. That's a really good face mould. Uh, we also have one other one here. We have Luke as well. Oh, nearly dropped it. Yeah, Luke on uh, on uh, Endor. So that's pretty good. It's pretty good likeness on that one as well. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, other ones up the top here from The Mandalorian. Uh, various movies plus uh, an X-Wing fighter up there as well, a pilot. Some Harry Potter stuff. We have the sorting hat plus we have Hermione's uh, wand. This is quite a large wand. I wouldn't get this stuck up your bum because it might hurt. Uh, <laughs> plus we also have some fluffy owls. Uh, a couple of these uh, Spider-Man and Hulk figures here. And onto the pop vinyl figures, we have a Godzilla v Kong, a battle ready Kong. Yeah, look, he's got his fist set ready to kick the shit out of Godzilla. Uh, we have this, what is this? This is a cyborg Spider-Man. 
everything's either venomized or cyborged. Mecha Godzilla, really looking good one. Uh, down here we have a bit of Freddy Mercury. Yeah, very unusual. But uh, I don't know if they do the entire series of Queen. That'd be good to collect. Plus we have Oscar, a Smith's toy. Is this a mascot or something? I think this might be a mascot for Smith's toys. Uh, we also have Zori Bliss, one of the most underused Star Wars characters. Plus we have the Mandalorian with the child. He's holding the child. He's not letting the child go. And down the bottom here we have some really nice... Oh, look at these cars. Back to the Future 2 with it wheels up. It's in hover mode. Uh, and it does work. It does light up. Really looks good. I bet that looks good with the lights out. That's what she said. <laughs> and we also have a Guardians of the Galaxy Volkswagen <laughs> with Groot. Oh dear. Plus also Ecto-1. Really nice looking uh, vehicle there. And look at this from the Dark Knight. Look at the tumbler. That is absolutely gorgeous. And these ones are all reduced as well. Okay, so back in the car. My hair has gone all over the place. So windy out there. Uh, yeah, quite a lot of stuff in there. Some of the stuff has gone. You know, they didn't, ha you, they didn't have as much Toy Story stuff as they used to have. Uh, they've got a few extra bits and pieces. Star Wars. A lot of those retro Kenner figures, the large ones, like the 40th Anniversary Empire ones, a lot of them were reduced to like 14 99 They weren't in the brilliantest of conditions. You know, they had bent corners and kind of the card was warping. So I wasn't really going to pick any any of them up. Uh, but they also had the standard retro figures and the Kenner ones as well. Plus also uh, the Black Series figures. Uh, a really good Harrison Ford, you know, a Han Solo and a Luke Skywalker. The mould on that Han Solo was really good, he's, especially his fa uh, facial features. You could definitely tell that that was Han Solo. Didn't have a lot of pops. I think they've diminished the pops or maybe people have just bought a load of pops. They used to have a lot more than what we saw in there. I did pick a couple of things up. You saw those um, die-cast metal vehicles from various films. I actually picked two of those up. Yeah, I think they're going to look really good in the cinema room. I want to display them kind of like with the films. So like one of the one of the vehicles with the films and maybe a couple of characters. I, I know I'm kind of like pressed for space in the back bedroom. But I've got an idea of where I can put them. So that'd be good. But I shall show you them when I get home. I think we are done for today. Uh, there's not really anywhere else that I want to go today. So I'm just going to pop to the drive through at Costa, get myself a lovely cappuccino. No sausage bap today because I got my dinner when I get home. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll head off back to Dover, back to ha back the uh, house. And uh, I'll show you what I picked up and stuff that I've had delivered in the last couple of days as well. Okie dokie, right, back home we go then. Right, okay, so it's time to show you what I picked up today, what I've had delivered. Just a moment. Hello? Oi, you Costa Sausage Bat Fat Fuck. Stop using my clips. Right. Okay. Okay, so I have a bit of a stack here. I've had a few things delivered in the post. I also have some subscriber mail, but I'll do that in a separate video. Uh, so the first thing I picked up today is Firestarter. Yes, I know I've already picked this one up. This was £5.99. I picked this one up for one of my lovely viewers, for Ernie. Yes, £5.99. Not many of them still around, but uh, there we go. Okay, uh, CEX. I found a couple of bits in CEX, three titles really. Uh, let me just put this lot down. Because nobody wants to play juggling. Okay, this one. This one I've heard a lot about. I've heard a lot of really good things about this as an animated film. Never seen it in my life. Six pounds. This is called Kubo. And the two strings so it looks really nice the animation looks really good 
Uh, and I noticed at the top there it says Blu-ray 3D and Blu-ray. So uh, I looked on Amazon and various places like that and uh, eBay. There wasn't many actually selling the 3D. So I might watch that in 3D and see what that's like. So that is Kubo and the Two Strings. Then we have a film by Clint Eastwood with Leonardo DiCaprio called J. Edgar. This is all about J. Edgar Hoover, isn't it? Probably his life story. Not seen this film, but uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, good actor. So definitely give that one a try. Uh, the last one from CEX was a TV series that I watched many years ago with Mama Bowman uh, on HBO. From 2008 this came out. This is called Generation Kill. This is kind of like, I would describe this as Band of Brothers for Iraq. That's how I would uh, describe it. There was only ever one series, I believe. It was in seven parts and it's across three discs. Um, I do remember really enjoying this when this first came out. But uh, it's got lots of special features and it's got a DTS HD Master Audio soundtrack as well. So I'm looking forward to actually revisiting that because 2008... So, what's that, about 13 years ago? Yeah, so 13 years ago I saw that. Definitely due to watch that again. Okay, so as for these, which I had delivered, um, let's just pull them out one by one. I picked this one up, the Harrison Ford collection. Harrison Ford is my favourite actor of all time. Obviously for Star Wars and Indiana Jones reasons. But he does a lot of good other stuff as well, Blade Runner and... And uh, believe it or not, was it six day, six nights, seven days with Anne Hesch? I actually enjoyed that film. It's comical. Uh, but this is the collection. This is five movies for £14.99. This was on Amazon. Uh, this includes Frantic, Presumed Innocent, The Fugitive. I've actually bought The Fugitive, so I can probably sell that now. Firewall, which is a really good one. And 42. Um, I think maybe one of these is not available on Blu-ray. It could be either Frantic or Presumed Innocent. But I don't ever remember seeing 42 available on Blu-ray in the UK. Um, I think 42 stars Chadwick Boseman. I think uh, it's the life story of uh, African-American MLB player of the modern era, Robinson. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Jackie Robinson. I'm pretty sure that's Chadwick Boseman's, one of his first films. Correct me if I'm wrong, but just from memory. But anyway, that's the Harrison Ford collection. Next up, we have one. I have opened it. We have a John Candy film. One of the John Candy films I don't have, and also one of the John Hughes films that I don't have. This is Uncle Buck. This is hilarious. I love this film. John Candy and John Hughes kind of go together like Spielberg and John Williams. So yeah, really looking forward to watching that one again. It's been a while since I've saw that one. So that's empty. Next one. Blah. This is quite a hefty one. Right, okay. Uh, as you know, I've been picking up uh, various seasons of Dexter. I picked up a couple of seasons from Poundland. I picked one up myself. Uh, Alan, Kermit's ghost, was really uh, helpful in getting one for me. I think it was season six, maybe. Plus, I picked another couple up online as well. Uh, well, I've now picked up two more. I picked up season seven. I uh, picked this one up for about £4.34, completely sealed. So that's really good. So that's that one. And also, through CEX, I picked up the final season as well. This was a little bit more expensive. I think this was about £11. Yeah, but I really needed the final season as well. So I've got six seasons. I'm just missing two seasons now. Uh, I believe they're actually quite expensive. I think one of them is about £14. And season three, I think... Is about 20 quid. So either 20 quid or 30 quid. It's one of the really expensive ones. So I will get them eventually when the price comes down. And we have another big one here. This has got two Blu-rays in it. So this one, 
Dowell. Yes, really good film from the 1980s. This stars Barrett Oliver. Uh, it's the same kid that's in the Never Ending Story. So I think probably this and Never Ending Story is his best films. Or probably only films. Because I don't really remember him being in much else. But anyway, yeah, really good film, Daryl. And the last one in here. It's a bit of Chevy Chase in Fletch. I didn't pick up Fletch Lives. Um, I watched this one first because I, I don't remember liking Fletch Lives that much. I didn't have a, an impact on me as much as this one does. But Chevy Chase, what can you say? That's Chevy Chase. Fantastic. Now, down in Smith's Toys, as you saw, they had a lot of stuff down there. I actually didn't pick up any Star Wars figures, even though they actually had a load. And I would love to have picked up a lot of those. But display-wise, I mean, I've got some up the top here. I've got some pop vinyl figures. And then on top of those, if I tilt the camera up, you can see up there, I've got some figures as well on the top there. But yeah, it's not always um, possible to display them. Uh, when you've got a small cinema room. I did pick up a couple of really good things though. Uh, first thing I picked up is the Ecto-1. This looks gorgeous. This is a dime, uh, die cast metal. Absolutely fantastic. As you can see on the back there. Yeah, this is gonna look really good. This was £14.99, so this was reduced probably for about 30 quid. So it's probably about half price. Because I think the uh, the packaging is not exactly brilliant. One of them was torn, but I wanted to pick that one up. So I'm going to display uh, my Blu-rays, or my 4Ks, together with that. So I'll display the 2016 Ghostbusters Answer the Call together with this. No, I won't. <laughs> I'll display the two original films alongside this. Kind of like each side and this little piece in the middle i will find a room for it and i'll i'll show you as well so i'm really happy that looks really good they did have back to the future 2 the delorean that was actually priced at 25 quid if that had been reduced i probably would have picked that one out but uh maybe one day that will reduce itself uh, this one i looked at and i thought oh my god i've got to pick this one up because i need to display my christopher nolan trilogy with it so I picked up the Tumblr from The Dark Knight. Oh my God, that is, that is, that is, that is just, that is. Yeah, uh, and as you can see on the back, there's loads of other ones that you can buy as well. All the different versions of the Batmobile. I love the original. I love the original from the 60s. I bet that looks gorgeous. Yeah fantastic but there's something about the tumbler i mean it's not your traditional batmobile from like the tim burton movies and that you know the joel schumachers uh and it's it's a far away from that but there's something about the tumbler it's so beefy and so mean and it's such a killing machine uh and obviously when it gets damaged we get the uh the bat bike so yeah, that's even better. We also get a little Batman figure as well. Uh, I'm Batman. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get in the car. Yeah, fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to displaying that together with my probably my digi books. So that's two of them. This might be my new thing to collect for the cinema room: movie vehicles. Yeah, um, I might get a Back to the Future from maybe Back to the Future Three because I love the white rims, the what the white reels reels wheels yeah but anyway that's the two that i picked up from smith's toys fantastic so that's about it i did have some good blu-rays delivered in the last couple of days and some good pickups and i was able to get fire starter um i'm a fire starter i'm a fire starter for <laughs> for ernie uh because a lot of these HMVs around the country, you know, people have got note that this was five ninety nine and snapped most of them up. So I'm happy that I was able to get that for for my dear friend Ernie. Fantastic. Just one last thing before we go, I just want to give a shout out to Jacob. Yes, we have a new BlueTuber, Movie Cave. Uh, he contacted me uh, earlier today to do a collaboration video with a couple of other guys. 
Um, I've been watching some of his videos. Fant he's like been doing it for two weeks and he's a seasoned pro already. So if you haven't subscribed to Jacob, head over there now, uh, Movie Cave. Show him some love. Subscribe to him because uh, he's got a really lot of good content. Blu-ray hunting, collecting, that kind of stuff. So yeah, head over there. So I hope you enjoyed this little Blu-ray and toy hunt on May the 4th. Yes, Star Wars Day. Next week's Blu-ray hunt will be back to the normal day of Monday. Uh, there might be something going on this weekend, maybe on this Saturday. So uh, you'll have to look out for that. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. And I shall see you all on the next video. Big hug.